Ready? October 1st, 1968, George Romero's movie, Night of the Living Dead, premiered here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in the theater that's behind us, the Bayam Theater, but at the time, it was called the Fulton Theater. So I was born in 1979, so obviously, I wasn't alive for the world premiere of Night of the Living Dead, but growing up here in Pittsburgh, it's become a cult classic and a childhood favorite. I mean, it is filmed here after all. Years ago, before I moved away, I was lucky enough to attend the world premiere of Land of the Dead, held here in the same exact spot, and I met some famous people that night. crazy to think that right behind these doors, in there, in the lobby of the Bayam Theater, then the Fulton Theater, where horror history was made. One of the things that's really special about Night of the Living Dead and George Romero, George Romero is from Pittsburgh. Well, I don't think he was born here. I think he was born in New York and he came to college here, but he put a lot of money into this town, made some amazing movies. Creepshow, Dawn of the Dead, Two Evil Eyes, this is gonna be fun, so let's go get started. Let's go check out the filming locations to the cult classic, the beginning of it all, Night of the Living Dead. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come to my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. Our first stop on our Night of the Living Dead filming locations tour is 247 Fort Pitt Boulevard. This was the latent image office for George Romero and crew behind Night of the Living Dead. Not only was this building the address for the production company Leighton Image, but it is also the filming location for two movies. The roof, scenes from Dawn of the Dead were filmed there, but we are here for the basement. The basement of this building is where they filmed the basement scenes of the farmhouse in Night of the Living Dead. Years ago, I was lucky enough to walk through these doors and was able to see the basement. Down this ramp, there's an elevator just on the other side of those mirrors. I doubt we're gonna be able to get there today. Because last time I was here, there was a FedEx worker that allowed me down here to check it out. But this is the elevator. So we're gonna want the basement. It's so right now we're on the first floor. No. I guess it's locked. <sighs> that would have been cool. Sadly, Jessica, we could not get down to the basement. I have pictures somewhere. I'm gonna have to try to find them so we can people can see it. But it looks it looked back then, probably about ten years ago about the same that it did. Sorry, onward we go. Right now we're on Franklin Road, just outside of Evans City, heading towards the Evans City Cemetery. The road that we're on 50 years ago is where they filmed the opening scenes of Johnny and Barbara driving to the cemetery. It all happened right here.
mean, it looks like it though, doesn't it? It just has that, that feel. In the movie, Johnny and Barbara come right down this street and they make a really sharp turn right up this driveway to where Evan City Cemetery is. And as they drive up this hill to the right, you can see a sign that looks like a yellow caution sign that says cemetery entrance. And oddly, it looks like it has bullets in it, but that is no longer here. Instead, they have a proper Evan City Cemetery sign. Jessica, what are you doing over here? My bugs. Your bugs. Are you adding to your collection? What'd you find? Cicadas. Let's see. That's yeah, actually a lot. Yeah, and a lot of wings. Oh, look at their little wings. They're all dew kiss and they're all cute and wet. and They stink, but they're adorable. Uh, you can dry them out, add them to your collection. Yeah. You are too darn cute. No. 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 So you ready to get our paranormal on? Mm-hmm. This is a new term that we're gonna be coining, I guess you would say. You wanna go ahead and explain why we're gonna say this from now on? When Norman is watching a television show, it's a zombie movie, and it's very exaggerated that the actress in the movie, so I guess it's like a B film, is screaming, waiting for the zombie to attack her, and then it's taking forever, and she just looks over the camera and she's like, <gasps> and continues to scream again while they're waiting for the zombie to come in the shot. So it's like a tongue-in-cheek nod to B-film horror. And we are horrible actors. So when we yeah. say, let's get our paranormal on, it's us recreating scenes from the movie. So we give you... Badly. Badly, mind you. So we give you our version of Night of the Living Dead. So when they come up to the cemetery, they drive around the cemetery a little bit and they park in front of the chapel, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But the main area where they filmed is actually right over there. It's actually really close to the entrance of the cemetery, but instead of pulling in and driving straight to there, they do a couple different scenes where they are driving throughout the cemetery, making some turns, movie magic, to make it look like they're in the far corner. They're in the far corner, that they're driving into the depths of Evan City Cemetery, which is awesome because, you know, unless you were here and you knew where they were filming, you would think that it's way back in the back of the cemetery. Great choice by the filmmakers. It kind of gave uh, the impression that they were out in the middle of nowhere. Deep into a huge cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to drive around the cemetery, similar to the way that they did, and we're going to park in front of the chapel. We'll talk about the chapel, and then we're going to go and reenact, or as we like to call it, paranorming, paranorming the scenes. But this is Evans City Cemetery in Evans City, Pennsylvania. Right over there. We'll get to it, and I'm going to point it out. But that stone right there that says Blair on it, you can't see it from here, that's where they were. And this stone is the one that Barbara, the most famous photograph of her standing in front of watching Johnny get killed. So we're coming up to where they park the car and they get out and they're complaining about the time change and how Johnny, you know, his idea of a Sunday is not driving up here. Like an hour outside of Pittsburgh, which is pretty much about right. They park pretty much right in front of the chapel. Hey, 
We're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problems. Nothing wrong with the radio. Must have been the station. Which row is it in? There's nothing wrong with the radio. It must have been the station. Which row was it in? From that point, they walk towards where the main filming locations are, where we all know them interacting with the tombstones, and where Johnny says, look, there's one of them now. It's a little bit of a stone's throw walk to it, but not that far. I wonder what happened to the one from last year. Each year we spend good money on these things. We come out here and the one from last year is gone. Well, the flowers die and the caretaker or somebody takes them away. I wonder what happened to the one from last year. We spend good money on these things and each year we come out here and the one from last year is gone. Well, the flowers die, and the caretaker or somebody takes them away. Yeah, a little spit and polish, you can clean this up. Sell it next year. wonder how many times we bought the same one. That entire scene is filmed right here, and it's easily findable because of the word Blair. In the scene in the movie, I do believe all you see is the IR. But if you walk back this way and look to see who Johnny and Barbara are visiting, it's the Cole family, Grace and George Cole. This is the actual tombstone that they were visiting. That entire scene are these guys. She died in 1949 and George died in 1943. Crazy, right? Pretty much the entire time that George Romero and crew and actors were here filming, it was just right here. They didn't even use this entire massive cemetery. Well, that's a lie. Because this cemetery is where we also see the first zombie. And after a brief conversation at the grave and the line, come on, prayings for church, Johnny looks up because he sees lightning, and then we get the line, they're coming to get you, Barbara. But because Jessica's here, they're coming to get you, Jessica. Pay attention to this bee. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. They're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. Stop it! You're ignorant! They're coming for you, Barbara! They're coming for you! Look! There comes one of them now! After some joking around, the zombie ends up attacking Barbara, and Johnny rushes to her to help. But ultimately, he ends up dead. In this scene, you gotta pay attention to this stone right here. It says Nicholas Kramer. Barbara, I mean, <clears throat> Jessica, is gonna be right there looking on while Johnny and the zombie fight right about here. And it is this stone, Clyde Lewis Myers, where Johnny dies.
and this, oh my God, it is bright. Wrong movie, this is not Porter guys. Stay out of the light, Caroline. This is where Johnny met his demise. His head hit right, ow, that hurt, about here. How cool is that? Barbara goes running and the zombie chases after her. Perfect. From that point on, Barbara makes her escape. The car rolls right back down the same way it came into the driveway, and the movie continues on. Let's talk about the chapel that's behind me for just a moment. For years, this chapel was in a severe state of disrepair. In fact, it's actually quite a miracle that it's still standing, and that's because of all the fans of Night of the Living Dead, the cast, the crew, they all saved it. Every year they do a horror convention for Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and now creep show this year. And it's here to stay and it's looking more beautiful than ever. And I do want to point out that I do know that in the movie, a rock was used, not a big piece of log, but that's all that I found. All right, beautiful. So what'd you think? How was our acting skills for this one? Um, I mean, maybe we can get a role in a John Waters film, but... <laughs> John Waters or Troma? Maybe trauma. Yeah, it was pretty crappy, no pun intended, Toxic Avenger. I'm not a good actress at all. You were amazing. I have difficulty with my facial expressions. It feels like I am making expressions, but I really just had bitch face. <laughs> you were amazing, and you look amazing, and you wore the perfect outfit for today. Again, a lot has changed in the past 50 years, but the bridge that's behind me is the scene where George Cassana, who is playing the chief, is being interviewed about killing the zombies. Chief, Chief McClellan, how's everything going? Oh, things aren't going too bad. Men are taking it pretty good. You want to get on the other side of the road over there? Chief, do you think we'll be able to defeat these things? Well, we killed 19 of them today right in this area. Those last three we caught trying to claw their way into an abandoned shed. They must have thought somebody was in there. In this clip, you can see everybody standing in right about this area with the bridge in the background, but there's a big difference. You can actually see the metal covering on top of the bridge, which is no longer there. Sadly, the farmhouse from the movie Night of the Living Dead is no longer there, but the property where it once stood now has a log cabin on it. And to be honest, it's not too far from where they did most of the filming for Night of the Living Dead, but that cabin right there, that exact location is where the farmhouse once stood and all the filming took place. Basically, all the zombies that you see in the movie would come across this field and ascend onto that house. That is incredible. To be honest with you, I don't know when the farmhouse was actually torn down, but I wish I could go back in time to when it was still there, just to have seen it, take a picture of it, before 
it went away forever. Just imagine George Romero and the Night of the Living Dead crew coming right down this road back in 1968 to film what they didn't know it at the time, but what would become one of the greatest, most influential horror movies in history. It all happened right here on this property. Just imagine zombies, ghouls, roaming this field. That's just awesome. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Tracking down the filming locations to the original Night of the Living Dead. Hopefully you enjoyed it just as much as we did visiting them, acting it, if you'd call it that, and filming it and sharing it. Thank you. Remember I come,